The British Virgin Islands is insistent on being kept abreast of the United Kingdom's negotiations with the European Union ahead of Britain's imminent divorce from the EU bloc. Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith made his position clear during one day of talks in London hosted by the UK's Minister for Exiting the European Union, Robin Walker, and Foreign Office Minister Baroness Annelie on Tuesday, February 7, 2017. In that meeting of the Overseas Territories Joint Ministerial Council on European Negotiations, Premier Smith set out the BVI's priorities for international trade, including market access, stating, Undoubtedly, we would like inclusion in any tariff-free trade arrangement the UK secures with the EU and I encourage the UK to secure this option for the territories so that BVI companies, whether domestic or international, maintain the ability to trade in goods competitively with the EU with as few barriers as possible." End quote. The Premier also emphasized the importance of the UK supporting overseas territories to ensure they are not negatively impacted by protectionist measures such as EU blacklisting. He also highlighted that continued freedom of movement in the EU for BVI citizens is critical for business, higher education and other purposes. Minister for Exiting the European Union, Robin Walker, said the UK government is committed to engaging with its friends in the overseas territories as it prepares to exit the EU and ensuring that a deal is brokered which works for everyone, particularly how the territories can contribute to a truly global Britain. And Minister of State at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Baroness Annelie, said the overseas territories are integral to the UK government's ambitions to create a more outward-looking United Kingdom adding that the UK is committed to taking the territory's priorities into account as it prepares for negotiations to exit the EU. The Overseas Territories Joint Ministerial Council on European Negotiations has agreed to stage two additional ministerial meetings later this year.